What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Cold Train, and on this episode of Train Talks, I'm trying to make this quickly as possible because uh, my favorite show, Wild well, Nothing, to come on, so I gotta want to watch New Edition, the casting of the New Edition story. They're on tonight at 10, 10 o'clock, so I'm going to try to make this very, very quickly as possible. But yeah, this will be the um, NBA 2K news. Some news dropped about my GM and my league, which I play a lot, and which will be featured on my channel this year for NBA 2K18. They got the 10 best new additions, uh, new uh, uh, additions, not uh, addition, additions to my GM and NBA and um, my league. So yeah. This they have this my GM next shot is the first one. In previous years, GM, my GM and my league have been similar. My GM would designed to be additional franchise mode that allows you to guide your organization very just to success on the court while be by balancing financial requirements and team chemistry. My league has been called the ultimate sandbox mode, and it, and it's just that the uh, mode has a lot to be unpredictable, un percentage pre something like that. Level of customization with all with all on court action and, and player personal deep duties. The two modes were too similar, and uh, my gym liked the customization overall control. It would wind up being a more re restrictive version of my league. Those days are over. The next chapter delivers some much needed personality to my my gym in the form of a story mode. Thankfully, it's not going to be a narrative that focuses every user into the same issues and drama. Period. The developer's blog provided to me. We will control our own fate with the decisions that we make with our organization. It doesn't appear as though um, the customers in the next chapter will have any voice, but the, the, this is still another mode to ca to captivate the imagination and the and attention of the 2K community. This will be the first time in history of sports video games that we've seen a combination of a story mode with the franchise concept. I am loving this so far. This gives me a reason to play as, let's say I'm the cash and manager, and I got to talk to Kyrie Irving about staying the Cleveland Cavalier. This gives me a reason to play my my GM finally, because my GM was just a lackluster dude that tells you you pack a lineup for this for this thing, and you have to eighty five seconds, you have to uh, eighty five seconds, you literally have to talk to a player about how they're feeling. Now this gives me more more um. More things to do in my league and in my gym with different teams, so it should be very, very interesting to see how I do this. Next one is the G League. Now, a lot of people ask for the G League um, this year, at, uh, formerly known as the D League. They changed to the G League, and um, and they they got it. But you can you can what you you cannot play G League games, which uh, which is unfortunate. But you can add you can put. G, G, players into the G League and they help them develop and then and while they play on the main in the main league, which is awesome. That's gonna get me to my next point. Point um, point point is two way contracts. Summer league was a major draw for the NBA NBA community thanks to Lavar Ball and Lonzo Ball and a few other rookies. While fans hope on in, in on hoops in July, we heard a lot of two about two way contracts. The new contract allows an NBA team to sign a player to a deal that enables them. To move back and forth between the NBA squad and the G League uh, uh, affiliate, so I love that. That's two way contracts. You can play both of them, like I just explained in my last point. Also, we got the draft and stash. All the real premises players in or in and this is another detail that helps my league develop artistically to the my league and my GM experience. So everything that happened in real life with the new stuff that happened, um, that is that is all into the game. Also, we have the analytics tool. Um, this it this will help you rank scale how your um scale how your players are doing in the NBA, which I love that real life data. That's never it is based on real life data, so it keeps track year to year real life data. It has never been seen before, and it never been done before in a video game. Uh, alternate units for creative or rebranded teams. One of my pet peeves within my league in NBA Two K Seven was the inability to make an alternate unit from. For my rebranded expanded team this year, you will able to make your own unis as well as saving current home and away jerseys as throwbacks. It's a small thing, but sweet nonetheless. I love that. Let's say we're 20 years into my league and I want to make an expansion team. Uh, I want to I want to add the, the first current current um uniform for for the first first five years and I want to make another uniform. Now I can make the our first uniform alternate uniforms. So like how how uh how regular NBA teams have pride uniform, pride jerseys, alternate jerseys, black jerseys, classic jerseys. 
now we can finally do that in NBA 2K18, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, there's an all-star location pro selection process. Location all-star game is a big real deal in real life, and the PS2K k is going to make it that way in NBA 2K18. Yes! As well. Now I can finally pick where the all-star game is at. There will be a system in place to select the location each year of your my gym and my league. Once location is determined, you will see sort of a custom presentation in the game. Yes! Oh my god, we can finally up tick we can finally we can finally um do our own um stuff like that. Now we can finally pick our own all star game location. Let's say I want in New Orleans, I can have it in Cleveland if I want to. We can have it anywhere in the US. Yes, baby. And then I can even have it in, in, in Golden State, which I'm not probably gonna have it because I'm not a Golden State fan. Yes, I can have it in Florida if I want to. Now it don't have to be in Toronto every single year like it is in the real life 2K or whatever random place they pick. Now we can pick it anywhere we go. There's team customization in my league, player creation in my league. Now you can, now you can uh, literally create your own player without uh jumping out all jumping out of my league to create your own. You have to create your own roster and player while you do that. But now you can create your own player in my league, which is awesome. Um, and they got the new CBA rules. And that is pretty much it, man. They got the new rules that happened that was changing in real life NBA. Which now we can actually offer super max contracts to players that deserve it, which would be a great addition. But yeah, man, all that news got me so hyped for NBA 2K18. I'm not a park guy. I'm sorry, excuse me, my death. I'm not a park guy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, um, my career, I'm not a my career guy. I am a my league and my GM guy. That's all I play in NBA 2K18, making my own franchise, making building championship teams to help them win the chip. But I hope you guys enjoy the news and rumors. I'll be back with my Telltale games, uh, thoughts on Telltale games stuff later tomorrow maybe because I'm not gonna do the post. I'm not gonna post that tonight. But yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What you think about my gym, the my gym and uh, my league news? And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.